Hello, you're welcome to the sports segment here on AM Show. My name is Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Now we're going to the stories and former Ghana Football Association chairman Lepoa MND Jaula and three others were interviewed yesterday by the three-man FIFA CAF uh, delegation tasked to complete the process of selecting uh, men of integrity for the normalization committee. As Abedi Akon has more in the following report. The FIFA stroke CAF delegation, which consists of acting CAF first vice presidents Amaju Penek, Veron Mosengo Omba, FIFA's director for member associations, and Nicola Luca, FIFA manager for member associations, met former chairman of the GFA Lepora MND Jawula for an interview. And Haji Jawula, who is a member of CAF's interclubs competitions organizing committee, is a firm favorite to be named in the committee. According to our checks, head of the CAF stroke FIFA Lezon team, Dr. Kofi Amoa, was also interviewed by the officials, as well as former director of Ghana Post and lawyer Kofi Duadontin and Division One League board chairman Wahine Champon. The interview process will continue today with an announcement of members expected tomorrow. Well, away from that, uh, Black Stars team Dr. Christopher Dumako does not expect any CAF sanction. Uh, following reports uh, that some players of the team failed to avail themselves uh, for a doping test after Ghana's 1-0 defeat uh, to Kenya in Nairobi last Saturday. Dr. Adumako gives an account of what exactly happened after the game. They did not refuse to undergo the doping test. At the end of the match, I was approached by an individual and uh, with probably two or three others who said they were doping officers and uh, they had some names written on a piece of paper that they were inviting them for anti-doping. I went to the doping room to find out what was going on, but there was no form of identification. There was no formal invitation apart from a piece of paper with handwritten names on. We went to them and then we asked for some formal identification or invitation and we asked whether they were sanctioned by CAF. They said no, but uh, they were from the National Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya. Because they didn't have any formal document, we decided to go and see the March Commissioner with them as well. And um, it was confirmed by the March Commissioner that CAF hadn't sanctioned any anti-doping exercise. And we shouldn't go ahead and honor the invitation because they couldn't be identified and they didn't have any formal invitation. I don't expect that we will be punished. Well, so that was uh, Dr. Christopher Adomako. He is a team doctor of the Black Stars team. And talk of the national teams yesterday, the Black Star led to an action in the uh, semi final uh, of uh, the Afghan under 17 Cup of Nations uh, zonal playoffs. Uh, they played against Ivory Coast. Ghana won that game by two goals to one. And by virtue of that, the Black Star led are in the finals of the competition. And then they renewed their rivalry uh, with Nigeria. Nigeria also defeated Nigeria. They are host in the other semi final. So, what it means is that the final of the African Zonal Playoffs is going to be between Ghana and Nigeria and the winner will qualify for the uh, next year's African Junior Championship which will be hosted in Tanzania. Well, we have to move on and do some more local stories and Ghana Premier League side Liberty Professionals were soundly beaten 3-0 by the Betway Talent Search team and a friendly played at the Lizzy Sports Complex yesterday. My colleague Nana Kwame Asamoah was there and has come to with this report. The friendly match is one of the many activities put together for the 24 players who were qualified for the Betway Talent Search Camp. Holyfield Jani opened the scoring with a fine effort, with Jacob Kingston registering the second. The third goal came from the boots of a Liberty Professionals player. The 24-man squad selected have been in camp since Saturday 8th September 2018. They have been taken through extensive fitness and training sessions, as well as educational seminars on footballers' do's and don'ts, self-introspection, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and first aid. The camp will close on Friday, September 14th, where eight winners will be announced. The eight players will be drafted into the Betway Ghana sponsored clubs. That's Ash Gold, Mediama, Liberty Professionals, and Adriana Stars. The Betway Talent Search was introduced in 2017 by the sports betting firm as part of its continuous efforts to develop sports in Ghana. Kwabno Pong Kuma is the country manager and head of marketing for Betway Ghana. This talent search has actually been more impressive than the first one. And the first one, we went to four cities and we thought that we had seen it all. This time around, we changed it up a bit and went to a few more cities that we had not visited the first time around. And it's been nothing short of amazing. Uh, if you go there and you see the number of people that are turning up as early as 5 a.m., just looking out for an opportunity to participate in it. We've seen it all. We've been to Tamale, we've been to Sunyane, we've been to Kumase, Cape Coast, and we are now in Accra 
we did the acquire trials, we did the draft for the various regions, and what you see behind us are the final 24 players that made it into the house. This is their first game against Liberty Professionals. Uh, it's not yet half time, but it's been impressive so far. They're leading by a goal. And, um, it's encouraging to see that all of these guys out here who did not have an opportunity, were not playing for any club previously, can come and match up to a Ghana Premier League side and give it their best. It shows that there's a lot of skill sets, there's a lot of talent, there are a lot of people that are looking to show what they have, looking for opportunities. And for us at Betway, that is why we started a program like Talent Search. We are moving around the country, offering opportunities to young men between 18 and 24 who do not have a professional football contract. So last year, we've seen people that went through and they now have contracts. This year, hopefully by Friday after the game on Friday, the four clubs that Betway sponsors will come in and draft at least two players each. All right, so that was uh, Nana Kwame Asamash report. Now, we have to do some international stories. And Tottenham Hotspur uh, goalkeeper Hugo Lloris has been fined £50,000 uh, and banned from driving for 20 months. Lloris pleaded guilty to one count of drink driving at Westminster's Magistrate Court uh, today, uh, yesterday, actually, and admitted being more than twice the drink drive limit when he was stopped in the early hours of August 24. Larissa's defence team stated that it had been a spectacular fall from grace for the player. Just 40 days ago, he was lifting the World Cup with France, and here he was today pleading guilty to a charge of drink driving. Now, if you remember, it was in the early hours of the 24th of August that Larissa was pulled over. He was said to be driving erratically, veering towards other parked vehicles and driving at about 15 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. His speech was said to be slurred, and there was vomit on the scene. A breathalyzer test later revealed that he was more than two times over the legal limit. Now here today, Lloris was in court for under two hours. He was mostly emotionless. He nodded his head gently as his verdict was read out. Now in terms of his career for Tottenham, the club have always said that they supported him. We'll wait to see whether he's included in their squad for their match against Liverpool this weekend. All right, so that's how we end sports uh, this morning here on AM Show. My name is Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much for your company. Join us at 2 on Sports Today, our major sports related on this platform. Nathan Lato will be here with more sports news. We're actually hoping to speak to uh, Kim Faisal, baby's owner, Bankwela, Alaji Karim Guza on the normalization committee, the uh, people that have been interviewed so far, and that was our earlier story where uh, Asari Bedia brought you that report of uh, Alaji uh, Guza, uh, sorry, uh, Lepora MND Jawala former Ghana Football Association chairman who was yesterday interviewed as well as uh, four other people. What we know is that uh, the interview process will continue today and hopefully by tomorrow uh, we we'll definitely will know the uh, members on the normalization uh, committee. So at two, we we'll definitely will bring you that interview with Alaji Karim Gusa on Sports Today. Thanks so much uh, for your company once again. The show continues after this short break. Don't go away.